Good morning, everyone. I hope you are doing fabulous. I know I am. I'm actually taking a vacation day today, which is always nice. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. My name is Haley. This is Mom Life Vermont. My goal here is to lose some weight and to run a half marathon. I've been on the journey for a while. I lost about 30 pounds while I was on this journey. And then COVID hit and I gained 10 pounds. And I'm slowly like dropping again, but it's just been, it's been fun. It's been interesting. I hope you guys enjoy this video and come along on my day. Come along. We're buying shoes today. The goal was to buy my beautiful, fun, fabulous, running shoes i believe there's a video on it but if not then this will be your first time coming to fleet feet it's a place where you can get your feet on a machine and they can determine the type of shoe you need based on your shoe shape and i'm heading there to pick up shoes and so i did go pre-covid to figure out what shoe i want kind of get an idea how, how much it would cost and I was definitely planning to go back and pick them up before three months later, two months later, however long it's been. But obviously, shit hit the fan. <laughs> I'm officially on my way to Fleet Feet. <laughs> I have to say, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> and I think, <sighs> why am I nervous? <laughs> I think I'm nervous about making the wrong decision in a shoe and spending $125, $130 on these shoes and having them not be what I need. But it just makes me think that as I go into this, I just need to really try on the shoes, really think about what I'm going to be doing in them. And they had me run in them last time I was in the store, but it's a short run. And I think I was like nervous about showing people my run. <laughs> It's not like I'm Phoebe on Friends running, but I just feel like I'm so new to it and I'm trying to figure it out. And there was so many people there last time that seemed like they were legit runners that I didn't want. I don't know. I'm like, I felt like they were going to judge me. I already feel like sometimes walking into a store like this, people are going to judge me because I am very proud of the fact that I'm sitting here and I'm trying to run a half marathon. And I don't feel ashamed about the fact that I'm fat and I'm trying to do that but I do sometimes have this like thought in the back of my head like is this person going to judge my weight as I'm in here telling them this great and amazing thing that I'm doing and I am actually thinking as I'm thinking about that I'm like that kind of reminds me of when I was younger like in my teens and I would go shopping and my sister was a normal size I don't know if she'd want me to say but she was a size 10 8 10 when we were in school and I was a size 16 and often in stores back when I was in high school they would have up to size 12 or 14 in most stores and then you'd have to shop somewhere else for the plus size clothes or you would be shopping in like the old lady section so often when I went shopping with my sister I'd walk into stores and browse and feel that people would be judging me because I was fat and I wouldn't be able to fit into the clothes that they were actually selling so it's kind of like I'm having like some PTSD symptoms from my youth I guess as I'm going in here to buy shoes but luckily that thought of like they're going to judge me is very very small in the grand scheme of things because I am very very happy and proud of the weight loss journey that I've been on thus far and I'm also excited to prove to myself that I can run a half marathon but then I can also think about all these people that may be judging me and say like screw you look at what I just did <laughs> like I, I ran out of marathon we'll see going into my shoes I'm a little nervous I just felt like I needed to let you guys know that and I did bring my tripod in case they let me film in there or I'm brave enough to ask them if I can film in there but look I got some sun I need some sun lotion anyway we're almost there we're almost there let's get this going let's get it done nervous. we're going inside we're here we're ready we're doing this we're doing this
welcome home. So I purchased the Asics shoes. A little bit about my experience in there. It was a cool, I, I'm, I feel like the kid might have been in high school. He was a young gentleman who was helping me probably in college. I don't know, but he just didn't, didn't seem 100% sure of himself. I think that made me feel a little bit better about my shoe buying process just because I didn't feel like he was judging me for being fat and I did and I also felt like me taking the time to say hey can I film was an option because I didn't feel it didn't intimidate me in any way so I guess that's a good thing so I did get some footage while I was in there and he was super nice I got free socks out of the deal and I ended up trying on three different pairs of shoes one of them was Brooks which is what I had tried the first time I went to Flea and I believe the shoe I was going to purchase based on that experience but this time I think maybe since it was nicer out I was able to actually go out onto the sidewalk and run in each of them and give them a really good shot at how well they fit me and what I thought about them and I was torn between the Asics and the Brooks shoes but I ended up going with the Asics it just felt right to me and it ended up being the cheaper shoe. These were $120. By no way cheap, but the other ones were more expensive. So, here they are. ta -da! So, these are the shoe. They only had them in black. I have a wide foot. I knew that going into it. And even when I was looking for Brooks shoes online, I noticed that the wide shoe did not come in as many in as many beautiful colors as the standard size shoe. So the only Asics they had in this, I don't even know what kind this is. It's a GT 2008. <laughs> 2000-8. Anyway, so this is the shoe I got. I feel, I don't know. I guess you'll get a real idea of how I feel about this probably in the Couch to 5K video that I'm currently working on or just in general. I'm going to be using these for all my running adventures. The shoes I have been wearing, which are my shoes for about three years now, are just going to be my hiking shoes, my walking shoes. I'm going to try and keep these to kind of like nicer trails or places that I'm running, such as like I, I don't feel like I'm doing a lot of running in the woods, needless to say. We do a lot of hiking in the woods, so these will not be hiking shoes. They're solely for running, and I'm just super excited to have them. I'm just, I, I, I'm, I'm loving them. I mean, I've only worn them that little bit of time, so I might hate them. So if you're interested at all for like a full kind of like review of me using these shoes, I think after I'm done with the Couch to 5K program, I'll do like a follow-up video to this one where I kind of give you my low down and dirty on how I feel about these shoes they're my first running shoes I'm excited for them uh, they, it does I don't know if this particular one does come in other colors online but they did say if necessary they could get me brighter funner colors more fun bright and more fun colors anyway um so I think once I'm actually like about to do my race I'm going to be in Disney World I'm going to want to hopefully Disney World I mean it's all dreams right now um, I'm gonna want like a hot pink shoe or something. So black for now, we'll get fun colors when we're actually running the races. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my shoe purchasing adventure. If you are a runner, if you're new to running, what shoe did you pick? Is this your shoe? Do you love this shoe? Do you hate this shoe? Let me know your thoughts down in that comment box and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.